My thesis title is Co-Creating Development Education, Learning from Stories of Students, that's third level students, and Communities Collaborating for Local and Global Social Justice through community-based learning, technology-enhanced learning and storytelling. I think that engaging third level students in social justice issues at home and abroad is important and I've been exploring their stories of doing so within different spaces at University College Cork. So why is this important? I'm sure you don't need me to tell you about the current state of the world, but issues such as international trade, sustainable development, refugees and inequality are all themes that come under the term development education, which is sometimes called global citizenship education or even global education. So my core question is, what impact does the use of community-based learning experiences technology enhanced learning and storytelling have on third level student engagement with development education issues and what is the impact of this work on communities of interest. I provided opportunities to communities and students using service learning, technology enhanced learning, radio and storytelling and asked the question what can we learn about development education pedagogy. Myself and third level students at UCC worked with family carers, a group of people in Lesotho, which is a country in the middle of South Africa, um, online, um, a group of people with disabilities, a group of people who are refugees, and a group of people from a minority ethnic group in Cork. Some of the methods which were used um, for students and communities to work together were digital storytelling, digital archiving, forums, blogging and radio and with the people in Lesotho we had an online intercultural exchange. And the storytelling uh, was digital storytelling but also uh, there was storytelling on radio and face to face. Uh, so different groups worked in different ways uh, but all groups included both students and people from communities at home and abroad. The overarching research methodology was critical ethnography, which links a detailed analysis of ethnography to wider social structures and power relationships. I collected data from the community-based experiences, stories and radio shows. The overarching academic framework is development education, sometimes called global education, but I also drew from critical narrative, um, technology enhanced learning and radio um, narrative, and critical multicultural education. In year one, we ran an online intercultural exchange with the community in Lesotho, six workshops with a minority ethnic group in Cork, a digital storytelling workshop with refugees and students, and a Global Teachers Award with student teachers. In year two, I worked with a cross-disciplinary group of UCC students, as well as student teachers, who worked with family carers and disability groups, and also with individual UCC students on work placements, and with individuals with disabilities who were moving out of institutional care into the community. With participant A, for example, there was a strong shift from a charity or empathy model to analysis of power dynamics and structural inequalities. Um, dialogue was very important um, and weaving in theory. And when using new technologies, that we remember it's not just about skills. For participant K, a family carer, the desire to tell her story was very strong and finding her own voice was profound. For the carers, the stories didn't impact highly on the election campaign, but were very strong as an educational tool. And then working with the local was far more challenging to students than the global.